Hi, Erica here, English teacher at Royal Languages and assistant director. Um, here with a short pronunciation lesson today on the letter T. So while it is just one letter, it actually has several different pronunciations. So I want to give some examples and some pointers on how to pronounce T in the different ways. Um, now, I'm going to be talking mostly about the way that native speakers pronounce this letter. And so some of it um, may be a little bit different than what you might be taught in a standard pronunciation. Um, but it is how native speakers naturally speak. So uh, the first pronunciation of T I want to share is when T sounds like T. This is the, the simplest one, when it sounds just like its alphabet letter. Um, so these are usually, for example, for words that start with a T, um, that we see T pronounced in the most uh, simple and straightforward way. Uh, for example, with words like uh, tall, table, test, and these words like that. This is often words that start with the letter T, where the T just sounds like T, so it's simple. Um, the next one I want to share, which is very common, is when the T actually sounds like a D sound. So oh, the reason this happens is that, as you might have seen in a previous video I did, that all English words, they have kind of a rhythm to them where they go up and down, up and down. Um, so when we have different parts of the words that are stressed or not stressed, so what this uh, T as a D is all about is when you have a T and a syllable that is unstressed. So it's a kind of a weaker pronunciation. It's a, it's a, a weak part of the word. So the way we show this when we pronounce it is instead of pronouncing T in a strong, clear way, we pronounce it as a D, which is more of a kind of soft uh, sound that happens a little bit faster. So you would hear this in words like uh, computer or water or bottle. So you can hear how these ones where the T is in a syllable that is not stressed means that we soften the sound and the T becomes a D. Um, now the, the last pronunciation I want to share in this video, I'm going to do a second uh, edition because there's even more to say about the letter T. Uh, but the next one, the last one I want to talk about for today is when you have the combination of N and T together in a word. Um, and so what native speakers will usually do is actually just pronounce the N and not say the T. So they will kind of skip over the T and it will be uh, almost either completely gone or mostly gone. So to hear examples like this, for example, we have the word, if I say, if I pronounce everything in it, it sounds like interview, uh, interview, and you can hear the N and the T at the start. Um, but if I'm speaking uh, naturally, what I would say probably actually is interview interview. So you can hear how the T has really disappeared from there. So I'm, I'm only pronouncing the N in the first syllable and not the T. Um, so it's this, when we have these combinations of N's and T's together in a word, that often native speakers will just pronounce the N and not pronounce the T. So again, interview is an example of that. Um, another example is international. So instead of international, but international. Wanted, instead of wanted, wanted. Um, for example, the number 20, 20, so you can hear not 20, but 20. So this is a uh, some examples of this pattern. Um, so just that's all we're going to do for today, but just to review, uh, again, the first pronunciation is when T sounds like T. This is the simple one, the straightforward one, um, when we often have a T at the start of a word. Um, the other one that I shared was when T sounds like D. This is when it, the T is in a part of the word that is a weak part or an unstressed part of the word, and therefore we kind of soften the T sound and it becomes a D sound. Um, and the last one that we went over today is when we have an N and T together in a word. And so when you have this combination of letters, we will pronounce the N and not the T. Um, so those are the three different ones I'm going to share today, but I will make another video to share a couple other pointers for some other, uh, unfortunately, difficult parts about the letter T in American English pronunciation. So hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you next week.